Empire came out in 2017 from Supergiant Games. Their previous games up to that point were Bastion and Transistor, both of which I've played, both of which are excellent. Indeed, those games really put Supergiant on the map as a quality indie game developer that does things differently. They soon became a bit of a darling of both the mainstream and alternative gaming press. Empire is a fantasy, fairy tale, party RPG adventure. It has all the hallmarks of Supergiant's previous work, rich story, interesting characters, well-crafted background and narrative, great soundtrack and a luscious art style all of its own. Added to this is the hybrid battle, sports game, team combat they've come up with that forms the basis of how your characters fight others as they progress through the world. You are a character known as the Reader. Looks like we got ourselves a Reader. You don't have any stats or attributes yourself and in the time I played don't even have any sort of physical embodiment in the game. After being rescued by three Three companions you set off to perform a number of rites in order to gain your freedoms. The rites are battles against other teams that are too fighting for their own freedom. During the rites you control your companions but you never take part yourself. You soon realise that you are more the manager of this team rather than a player. It took me a few tries to get the hang of the battles but once I started to see it more as a team sports game rather than actual combat I started enjoying it a lot more and getting into planning some deeper tactics. A bit of preparation and teamwork goes a long way. Your roster of companions increases as you play, giving you the choice of which three to put on the field to contest each right. The characters all have their own pros and cons. They all level up, gaining skills, and can be equipped with a talisman, of which there are various available to buy or discover. There's a fair bit of downtime between the rights as you traverse the environment in your little wagon. This element kind of reminded me of Banner Saga, where you do the same thing. This downtime is where the story and the narrative play out. Talking to companions, finding new ones, choosing the path to travel. It's a lot of reading, which you can fast skip through if you want, but this is where a lot of the game's charm and individuality lies, so I'd advise giving it at least a quick read. It's not Tolstoy or anything. Losing a right isn't game over. The story continues regardless, another way the battles are more akin to a sports game than Mortal Kombat. After you win enough rights, you get to play in the Liberation Rite, a kind of grand final where one and only one of your companions can gain their freedom if you win. After this, that character is removed from your roster and you begin the cycle of rights once more, just like a new season. The game opens up with faster travel and the ability to choose from multiple sites to play your next right. You play rights against the same opponents as before, but all of them have gotten a little bit better, making them harder to beat. The objective is to make it to another final where you can win the freedom of another companion. I didn't get deep enough into the game after the first liberation right, but there seems to be a bit of a long-term narrative where each companion you free tips the balance of power back in the world from which you've all been banished. This seems to be the real end game goal. It's at this point you realise what the game really is and how much potential it's got. Pyre is quite a bit different from Bastion and Transistor, both of which were more action orientated. Pyre is a slower, more story driven game, kind of fairy tale adventure, team sport sports RPG where you play the manager. It has all of the super giant DNA, it's unique and different, charming and easily playable. I can do nothing but recommend it. So that was my final report on Pyre. Have you played it? How many characters did you set free? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe and join me on Monday for the live stream of the next game super giant released, Hades. Then again on Sunday for the final report. I've been Man vs Pixels, thanks for watching.